Hey American History 1 students, welcome back from spring break. Hope you guys are ready to get started again back on our digital learning. I've been very proud of the work that I've seen so far and I can't wait to see what's to come. So this week what I wanted to do is to review what we've done before spring break really quickly just to kind of get us back in the groove. I want to do two assignments to review the market revolution through the Mexican-American War. And then I have two assignments for you to do on the early causes of the Civil War. So I wanted to start here on our home page to show you what I expect of you guys this week um, for our digital learning. So if you'll take a look on our home page, the new content continues this week. The topics right here are expansion, um, uh, the market revolution, Texas Revolution, Mexican-American War, and then of course the early causes of the Civil War. So this is for this week, the 20th through the 24th. You work at this at your own pace, but all four assignments are due by this Friday, April the 24th at 3 o'clock p.m. I have a checklist for you and let me show you that. So I hope these checklists for the week are helpful. It gives you an idea about what you're supposed to do and is this something that you have to do or submit to be graded. So if you'll take a look, there are um, a few assignments here. Let me scroll back up. It says there are four assignments, there we go, that need to be completed specifically. Um, all tasks should take about two hours, maybe a little more, a little less, depending on how quickly you're working. You do not need to submit this checklist to me. It's just here for you to keep you organized. Uh, give me some feedback if this is working for you. If people don't really like this, I'll stop doing it. But the first thing to do is to watch this video that you're watching right now so you can check that off. It's not graded, just to give you a little bit of heads up about what's expected for the week. Um, did you join Remind for Honors American 1? Because that's pretty important. Um, I'll be sending out a few uh, things every now and again through Remind. Also, we have an optional weekly discussion post. You can put what you've been up to on there. You can just say hi. There's no specific uh, questions, but if you do have general questions about classes or about grades, for example, you are welcome to ask them there. And then let's talk about the assignments. The first one, number four here, the first assignment actually, is going to be about a 10-minute video, a 10-minute read article, and four questions to submit in Canvas. It's a review of the market revolution and the Mexican-American War content that we did before spring break. So you'll go to that, and that page is here, this first assignment on the video article and questions. You'll click on that, and so this is what it looks like to watch the video. The notes for the video are included. There's two pages for the articles. Again, they are JPEGs. If you can't access those, let me know, and I'll try to turn them into PDFs. Um, but with my scanner, uh, it came up as a JPEG, so I thought I'd try that. And then there are four questions to answer in a text box. You can copy and paste those questions in a text box and answer them, or just number them 1, 2, 3, and 4, and then click Submit, and then you're done with the first assignment. should take you somewhere around 30 minutes or so to do. So that's going to be our first assignment. You'll see that here on our list. This is back at our home page. So the first assignment was to watch that video, read the article, and answer the questions. And then the next assignment is going to be to do some review questions for the Market Revolution, Manifest Destiny, Texas Revolution, and the Mexican-American War. Now let me show you that, but don't pay. When you click on this assignment, it'll take you to this page, which is actually a quiz. And so I haven't quite published it yet, but there are 23 questions that I'd like for you to go through and just try to answer. You don't need to go look them up. Your grade is not going to be based on your score for, what, for, for this quiz, but the fact that you participated and you've done your best. This is a diagnostic tool for me to make sure that you guys are understanding what's going on before we move forward with the causes of the American Revolution, because one part, of course, will lead into the, another part. And if we need to go back and review some stuff, this will give me an idea about what exactly it is we need to review. So again, don't panic about those quiz-like questions. They're just there as a diagnostic tool for me to take a look and see kind of where we're at in terms of content knowledge. And then what I'd like for you guys to do, moving on down to task number six. For this, this assignment, you're going to be doing a reading guide for Chapter 10, Section 1. You're going to make a copy of the Google. And here it is. Um, it was a, a bit of a problem, a challenge for me last week. I was trying to get you guys to force you guys to make a copy um, or the week before spring break. And some of you were able to type in it and it would post directly in Canvas. So here's what I've tried. I've tried a different way to do this. So when it comes up, it should say that it's edit only. So you should be able to, uh, I mean, not able to edit. It's just view only. So you should just make a copy of this and then you'll be able to type in it and then submit it in Canvas. Let's try that this week. But if it doesn't work, you know what to do. Send me an email and I'll work to fix that. So again, for assignment number six, you're going to be doing this reading guide and the um, 
The uh, link to the textbook is on the Google Docs. You'll be able to access Chapter 10, Section 1 in order to answer those questions. Again, all assignments are due by Friday, April the 24th at 3 o'clock p.m. Then the last assignment is another play posit video uh, by Tom Ritchie. Great guy for covering some content, and I've used that a lot in U.S. history classes and AP classes. And so he's going to cover the Compromise of 1850. And so let me take, a, take you to the assignment page. And so this is the assignment page for the Compromise of 1850 video and questions. And so you're going to click on the link and it will take you directly to, if you've already uh, set up a, an account with us, this particular lesson here on the Compromise of 1850. So once you go through that, that'll take you about 20 minutes. It's about a 15 minute video, so pausing to answer the questions. There's not very many there. Just to review one more time the Compromise of 1850 that we've covered in the re reading guide here in Chapter 10, Section 1. For this Compromise of 1850 video, you will not submit anything into Canvas. And again, don't worry about the grade that you score. What I'm looking for is your participation in the Play Posit video and answering the questions to the best of your ability. So again, coming back to our checklist here, you've got those four assignments, the review video here, the review questions here, and then starting our Causes of the Civil War, the Reading Guide, and then the Compromise of 1850 video. And that'll tell you about how long it should take, somewhere again around two hours, maybe a little bit more for this week. So finally, before I sign off and let you guys get started on these four assignments, what I'd like to do is remind you of the expectations one more time for online learning. This document is directly below the video that you're looking at now, and it just goes over the same thing we did before spring break about being flexible and checking Canvas frequently. Submit your assignments into Canvas. Don't send me an email. You can email me if you have questions. Use your student account and your name so that I know who you are, and of course I can get your assignments. Be mindful of the due dates. Again, all four assignments are due this Friday, April the 24th at 3 o'clock p.m. Maintain positive netiquette at all times. Maintain that academic integrity. Uh, you guys, I was really proud of some of the things that happened the week before spring break. You guys uh, fixed some things for me really quickly, and I was very happy to see that. Ask me for help. Really, I am here uh, every day, Monday through Friday, from about 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. to ask questions. So thank you for all of your hard work. I want to encourage you to keep it up for this week. Again, if you have any questions, you know what to do. Send me an email. Have a good week.